Dr. John Lim, colleagues from URA, friends from Ecomos and from the architecture fraternity, ladies and gentlemen, a very good afternoon to all of you. I'm very honored to be here this afternoon at Dr. John Lim's book launch. He is a resident in my constituency in Holland Bukit Timah, and I was very delighted to receive his invitation to celebrate in the happy occasion of the launch of his new book. And it's organized by ECOMOS, the International Council on Monuments and Sites Singapore, and hosted by my, by my colleagues in URA. So there are many happy reasons for me to be here, and I'm so happy that uh, we are all able to gather in person. As many of you already know, Dr. Lim has had a long and illustrious journey in his profession and also in the field of documenting the history of architecture for our region. Very importantly, he has also groomed a lot of talent for the field and many of you in this room I know are his students. His long-held interest in the architecture of Singapore and Malaya is evident in his many publications such as The Shop House Reflesia, A Diffusion of a Malayan Prototype in Southeast Asia in 1992, Architecture of Southeast Asia, published in the centennial edition of Sir Bannister Fletcher's A History of Architecture in 1996, and The Penang House and the Straits Architect, which was mentioned just now. We are here today to mark the launch of Dr. Lim's second book, The Penang House, Rise of the Malaysian Architect 1887 to 2017, which will shed new light on the history of our close neighbor Penang. I'm happy to be here to be part of this special occasion, not just because Dr. Lim is my resident, but also because of what he has been writing about in the past decades. These writings contribute significantly to the collective endeavor of protecting, conserving, and sustaining our shared built heritage. This task of looking after Singapore's built heritage is one of the responsibilities of the Ministry of National Development. However, this responsibility is also something that has to be shared amongst all who care, from individual scholars like Dr. Lim, to sectoral champions such as the organizer of today's event, Ecomos Singapore, consisting of multidisciplinary heritage professionals who have, for many years, worked closely with my colleagues in URA on projects concerning Singapore's heritage and historical sites and monuments, and also all of you in the audience. Only with everyone's joint efforts will we be able to pass forward the precious conservation buildings that make our home so special to future generations. For me personally, I do find a lot of interest in architecture, although I'm not trained in this field, but I like to think that I enjoy it as an interested layman. And personally, knowing the reason why our built environment looks the way it does and how it has evolved over the decades and in time to come, centuries, I think will give us that special sense of rootedness and belonging. But without the work of scholars like Dr. Lim, I think all of us will really just remain interested laymen. I hope that more people, with the help of publications like the one that is being launched today, will deepen their knowledge in the field, even if they've not been formally trained, and that we can build a community within Singapore that is both knowledgeable as well as appreciative of our architecture heritage. So once again, a hearty congratulations to Dr. Lim on your new book, which is more than a personal achievement. I believe your research has created value for future generations of scholars, researchers, and professionals, and that applies to this region and beyond. And I hope everyone enjoys the next hour or so where Dr. Lim can share with us more about his research and his insights, and may everyone be also inspired to contribute to this field in your own way. Thank you very much, everyone.